Hi, Dave Johnson here from the Media Relations Office at UW Lacrosse here with head football coach Mike Schmidt as we preview Saturday's football game against UW Eau Claire, 11.30 kickoff here at Roger Herring Stadium at Veterans Memorial Field Sports Complex. It's also our WXOW TV game, so if you can't make it, we want you to come to the game, of course, but you can watch it on Channel 19. First, uh, Coach, let's, let's review uh, Stevens Point last week and he opened the conference play with a 35-13 to win. Mm -hmm. Held the pointers to 175 yards. They were 2 of 12 on third down. Just a great job by the defense. Yeah, it felt pretty good about the defense coming out. I don't know that we thought that we'd play that well, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but they did. They played really well. But that's kind of our expectation, that they come out and, and we play our stuff. We didn't We didn't run a whole bunch of new stuff. We didn't install this wild and crazy package to defend points and, and their explosive offense. Our guys just really came out and executed what we want to run in our game plan, our base package, and, and did it really well. And, and really, that's kind of the key for us moving forward defensively is to get our guys lined up so they can play really fast. And and I think you saw that against Stevens Point, and hopefully we'll see that again coming up here against Eau Claire. And really offensively, you control the time of possession. Uh, I think at 35 minutes, so they're 24-something. Yeah. So you really control it on offense as well. Yeah, I mean, we were able to hold the ball, but they, you know part of that was due because there were so many three and outs. And mm -hmm. like you said, they were 3 of 12 on third down, and I think 0 for 4 on fourth down. So, I mean, they, our guys just did a really good job of, of getting off the field really quickly. Uh, and then the offense did a nice job in the run game. We really actually uh, controlled both lines of scrimmages, which was that that made us the, the happiest as a coaching staff because uh, we were about half their size up front on both sides. And our guys were really able to, to play fast, control the line of scrimmage on both sides. And, and certainly we always want to possess the football. If, if we're possessing the football, it means we're going to win the game, uh, in, our, in our opinion. It, ours is, our, our offense is about volume, volume of time, volume of plays being run. So uh, really this, the key statistic for us on defense is trying to limit their first downs. And we've so far done a nice job of that throughout the, the whole season. You got out to another quick start last week, just like you've done all year, really. 13-0 at, at the first quarter, 28 nothing. At halftime, just talk about again about that. How quick starts you've gotten out to all four games this year? It's huge. It's it, to be able to get in in control of the game early, especially with our offense and and uh, being able to to get on top and then defensively being to get off the field. Uh, you know those those points and that advantage is huge. You know, really at Stevens Point, it's twenty one nothing. We make them punt. We get the ball down inside our own ten, and then we go the distance and and put us up uh, twenty eight nothing at half. Twenty one nothing at half is a huge difference than twenty eight nothing. Uh, you're only going to get about seven, eight possessions and a half at, at most. So now all of a sudden, if you're up four scores, uh, you're, you're feeling pretty good, a lot better than just three. Eagles again back home tomorrow. You played well the first two home games, of course. Outscored opponents 68 to 13. That was Luther and Carroll. Let's talk about being uh, back at home. Finally again. back at, at home again. We love being being back here and playing here. Hope we get a great crowd out there. I know the weather's not going to be great, but uh, uh, love our fans and love our crowd uh, getting out there and. Our guys just love playing at home. I mean, you can see the difference in how they come and, and how they approach each each game uh, at home. They love playing there. Um, it's, it's just, I mean, especially this time of the year, is there a better spot to be playing? Uh, the, the bluff, the granddad is already changing, and, and the colors are, are getting to be beautiful. So uh, nice to be back at home. We've played well at home so far this year. Hopefully we can duplicate that and get out to another good start uh, early on against Eau Claire. Talk about the Blue Goats a little bit. They're one and three overall, one one in the conference. They lost at home last week to River Falls, thirty to seven. Just talk about the Blue Goats a little bit. Yeah, you know, I, I, I we got a ton of respect for Coach Larson and, and what they're what the entire thing's doing there. I, I really like Coach Larson. I think he's a great guy. I think he's a great coach. Uh, and then obviously we have some personal connections with our staff and him and, and their staff. Uh, they do a great job. They're really going to do a really good job here in the league um, uh, as they as they continue to build their program. Very similar to ours. We got hired about the same time, about a month apart. Uh, at the at each spot and and uh, you know they they everything that they do is about their quarterback. Um, he's he's a stud, totally uh, totally a stud. So we got to control him, especially in the run game. Most of, a lot of their uh, things that they've a lot of their points they've scored are on big huge runs by him. Uh, so we got to be able to find a way to 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 handle the receivers on the perimeter, find a way to fit up the run, especially the quarterback run, which I think we've got a good plan against. Uh, for them, uh, uh, and then you know, defensively, they 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 play hard, man. They they uh, they really play hard on defense. I think they got a lot of really good players on defense. So our offense has its work cut out for it. Uh, I think it'll be one of those things where I think we just got to continue to grind it out, and, and the big plays will present themselves for us on offense. I don't know that we just say, well, we're just going to go and chuck the ball. I don't think it's going to work like that, especially with weather conditions either, yeah. uh, uh, what they're, what it's probably going to be like tomorrow. So, uh, hey, we got our hands full tomorrow when they show up. Let's not forget about special teams. Uh, you're in charge of special teams, yep. but, you know, Ryan Cruz around the kickoff, punt returns, but you're two field goal kickers as well because – that could be a big advantage. Eau Claire, looking at their stats, they haven't even tried or haven't converted a field goal all right. year. But what kind of advantage do you think that gives you 
on the special teams? Well, I think we feel really good about both our kickers, Michael Pacos and, and Bryce Wesling, and, and really our punter, uh, um, uh, Sean Parker. Boy, they do a wonderful job for what we're trying to do. I know Sean's average is still only around like 36 and a half yards a punt. But I think he has more, I know, more than half of them are inside the 20. So, you know, we've been in, a, in good positions to set up uh, really nice fields for us. And it is a huge advantage. We have a lot of confidence in Bryce and Michael kicking the ball through the H, uh, as we tell them. And uh, uh, we've, we've been really good on special teams so far. I hope that continues. We sure spend a ton of time practicing it, I'll tell you that much, uh, in all facets. And, and that's been a huge weapon for us, and you saw it last week. We convert the fake punt that really sends that lead thirty-five uh, nothing. We 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 fake the extra point and, and get the get the shovel pass for the two uh, to get a twenty-one. So it's been a huge advantage for us. We hope that we can continue to to make it an advantage, and and, and the it all starts with the kickers. We feel really good about all both kickers that we have and, and our punter. And uh, again, the kickoff is eleven thirty tomorrow, so that's unusual. We do it every every year with the with the Blue Ghosts because of the TV game. But mm -hmm. just talk about what that does for the team mentality and stuff, and kind of it just changes your day when the game gets moved up. Yeah, you know what? Actually, last year it really affected us on the road game because we didn't go up there the night before. I don't know if they're coming down here the night before, to be honest with you, but. Uh, so that, that was an early morning and getting going and trying to match your meal times up and everything like that. The biggest, the, kind of the, the biggest downfall for us, I, I don't know, our team's going to be fine. We lift in the mornings during the week. We have a lot of stuff that are early morning stuff. They'll be fine getting going. At least it's not October best like last weekend where their roommates are going to be up till 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. keeping them awake. Uh, they'll get, we, we've been done a good job of emphasizing and getting them in bed early. I, I know I just talked with a couple of our offensive starters down the hall. And they were in bed at 8 o'clock last night, kind of getting their bodies set and ready to go for, for getting up in that early game. But the biggest effect that it has on us is our recruiting day. That now, all of a sudden, it, it kind of limits your pool of people that you can get to show up for your recruiting day. So I think we still have about 30 guys coming for, for our recruit day tomorrow. They'll be here at 8.30 a.m., so they're going to have real quick turnarounds and have to get going, too. But uh, that's actually a pretty big effect program-wide, not just on our players getting ready for the game. But, you know, the other stuff, we've really done a good job of, uh, you know, everything works back from the kickoff. So And, and what's kind of cool about this year is we've had a, a 6 o'clock game. Uh, we'll have a 7 o'clock game. We've had a... A three o'clock game. I mean, we're never playing at the same time. We haven't we haven't played at the same time yet, except for the two six o'clock kickoffs on Saturday night. So, our guys are pretty adjustable and pretty flexible with what we're trying to do. Again, the football team hosts the UW Claire tomorrow, eleven thirty kickoff here at Roger Herring Stadium. Hope you can come out uh, and be sure to keep up to date with uh, UWL football on Twitter and Facebook and athletics as well. Go Eagles!